So you want to learn about Photobabble. Um, it is a great resource to use um, a number of applications. Real simple to find. Um, just go to Photobabble and note that that is with a F, not a PH, photobabble.com. This is a free web 2.0 tool or um, free iPad app. Um, offers many opportunities for creative thinking. Um, when you're ready, um, you're going to sign in and you can easily create an account. Um, sign up for Photobabble is right down here. You'll need an email address um, and a password. All right, so you just have to fill in your username and your password and click the sign in button and it will give you um, your home page and it will show you projects that you have already created. Um, some people think of this also as a channel. So my photo babble channel for my fourth grade class is going to be where all my photo babbles for my students and from my students are held. Um, Alright, so how do I do this? How do I create um, a photo babble um, on my Mac or PC or Android device? Um, this tutorial again is, is um, showing you how to use the online photo babble site, not the iPad app. You're going to click on um, new, create new, and then it says create a photo babble. Choose a photo from your computer. Um, and here, this is where I'm also going to kind of show uh, when I am looking for an image and I'm using Google Images, I might just say I'm going to do a current event project and I'm going to talk about um, President Obama. So here, I like this picture, I like this picture. I could um, use any of them. And probably one of the easiest ways to do this is going to be to just take take your picture, choose your picture, and then drag it onto your desktop. Sometimes that wor tends to work, especially for students. It tends to be the easiest thing to do. So here I have this on the desktop, and a good hint is going to always be, I'm going to rename this. It's it for some reason it defaults to unknown. I'm going to click it once and then I see that um, this is highlighted blue and I'm just going to put in President Obama and I always use lowercase, no spaces, um, no capital letters and I never remove the extension. The um, uh, letters after the period. I never remove the period or the extension. So I have an image that I want to use and here just like any uploader I'm going to say choose file. I navigate to my desktop because I know it's in my desktop but of course I could have this in my Google Drive. Um, I could have it in a Dropbox folder so it would all work the same. President Obama choose and then it says that my file my picture is uploaded and I say create um, and this will have me sign in again and why is that we're gonna pause for a second alright so now we're in business I see my image here of President Obama and it tells me it's going to give me a flash player setting that do I want to allow um, Photobabble to use my camera and microphone and really it's just going to record my voice so I'm always going to want to say allow um, so I can edit my Photobabble I'm going to click the record button and then it I can talk about this picture I can say what is significant about it um, I want to give this a title um, current events um, President Obama um, and I can also do a theme and that lets you do sparkly stuff and kind of a background um, you do not have to do a theme you do not have to do tags and you don't have to give it a number at all but it will just say alright you're gonna link that picture here I'm gonna click on the record button and I believe you might get up to three minutes but you can see that this is recording um, 
right while I'm talking. So it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to say stop and then I come down here and I say save and it says your photo babel, babel has been saved and is ready to share. Um, I can create another one um, and uh, let's see my photo babbles I want to listen to it um, but before I go to my photo babbles please look over here for a second um, I have all sorts of options. I, uh, one reason why I really like photo babble I think this will be a better view. Um, it gives me so many options. For the photo babble that I just made about President Obama, I have a link to this. So I could email that to my teacher or email this to a parent. I can use this in many ways. Plus, I can also take embedded code, which I love, and I can put this on my website. I might be creating a portfolio as a student or as a teacher, and I can embed any or all of my photo babbles right onto my web page so I don't have to leave my web page to view a sample of work. I don't have to go to the photo babble site um, to do that. Um, so I do really like that. Um, uh, and I'm going to go click, and here are my photo babbles that I have. And here's my last one. So if I click on this, it will give me a little play button, and it'll work. You should be able to hear that. Um, you can also get you'll get a play button right on the website if you embed that. But that's one reason why I love photo babbles. All sorts of ways to use it for an assessment um, purposes, um, for just reflecting on an image, on artwork. Um, for telling a story, for um, translating what you see in a document. Lots of ways to use Photobabble. Thanks for listening, and I hope that you take this and run with it and use this um, to increase your understanding at all levels.